do. <laughs> hey, here we are. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Uh, episode ep eight. Yeah. The Ocho. He cannot see Cotton. Uh, <coughs> yeah. All right. Yeah. Welcome to the show, uh, Chef Philly D. Yeah, Gemini. What's going on? What's happening, fam? Um, Hopefully you uh, you just push the button. And you're sliding right on over. Um, we're finishing up in the green room. We're we took a break. We're gonna be serious now. I don't know, maybe not. I don't know. At least we got the sillies <laughs> out. Hopefully. I'm not so uh, sure about that. Yeah. Well, I um when we left, I said I, I wanted to come back in. Let's go into education or something. That's uh, I think that's a great place. That was to where you left it. Yeah. Yeah, and not even so much just education because I mean, dude, that that in and of itself is a, a huge conversation. Because I think all right, so we went back. If we go back, uh, was it last episode, you posed the question to me, if there was that one thing in society that you did, like that one change you made that was across the band, what would it be? And I said education. And the reason being is the sub-factors that would have to be to support that is... This is a big undertaking that you were talking about. Well, yeah, but we're, we're talking about like free energy to a degree, free internet, as well as the conduit or the means to interact because you would have to partake in that energy as well as the internet, so you would need some form of a conduit, you know, a piece of, you know, phone, laptop, something. So in order to right. offer that appropriate education, I think a bigger piece, and this is what we got into with the, the green room was, truly teaching the youngers. I mean, that's, you know, that was my bigger extension is we need to do it generation to generation in hopes that they keep building it, but that, that was my bigger piece, and I think that's, you know, the education is great. I think the bigger proponent would be. I think there's a little, little kernels of wisdom, though, that, that stick with you through the education process that make you kind of bring you back to realizing, you know, what it is that your, your, your focus should be, right. you know, it's like some of the things we were mentioning earlier. What was I saying about, um. You know, if it's something worth having, it's worth working hard for, it's worth, you know, maybe failing a couple times before you get there. It literally smacking your face. Right. Falling off that bike and just scraping away. And you have to be willing to look at that as, you know, well, I'm not, obviously I'm not ready for that yet. And when I am, this is, this is life preparing me for the being ready for that, basically. Right. And if you look at life like that, that it's, um... Well, much easier to progress, isn't it? Just because it doesn't feel like it doesn't feel like you're just getting beat up along the way. It's just it's yeah. <laughs> it's pretty it's, much pretty much. It just goes with the territory of of being, you know. You know, I'm not willing to take no for an answer, or I'm not willing to. Uh, I'm not willing to sell myself short. You know, or give up on something that could really be beneficial to me, kind of thing. If, if there's anything I'm really starting to, to come to realize is as as the things become more difficult, that is a, a true sign that you are, you know, transcending, moving forward, doing your thing. Because, you know, as I keep saying, if, you, if you're really going to do it, then you're not, you know, you're not going to, it's not going to get easier. You're not going to have less stuff to do. There's going to be more responsibilities. It's just, you're going to find a, a, you're going to be a part of that flow that is fulfilling your purpose that things just seem easier because it's no longer work. You're just doing things. You're just being yourself. You know, you're, you're being a part of your karma. Well, and that when things come up, it's like, not, it's not like, oh man, now I got to deal with this. It's like, well, oh, this is great. This is something to keep me entertained because this is right. This is my focal point. This is what I do. This is okay. I got to keep things back in order. I got to do this or that or well, I, to know, me, it's the, yeah when it's a passion. Constantly making corrections, but that's when you have something that you that you really love and you pour yourself into. It becomes an art. That's what it should be. It should, right. should yeah, be. It should, it's literally very, your art. Um, like I was saying last time, with the knowledge seeking, that it's not something that you can just you can say, okay, I've put it together and now it's complete. Like, no, this is, it's something that's, it's very, it's, it's moving and growing and it's organically, 
you know. Kind of like, yeah, kind of like the show. It's just going to keep, <laughs> like, it's just going to keep growing and evolving. Taking as it a life of its own, yeah. Well, as it should, because, I mean, again, that's, that, that's going to be an expression. That's art. All right. I feel. Yeah, it's not, it's not, um, it's not always accurate, but it's, it's, this is our form of art. Yeah, this is our. Well, imagination is better than knowledge. What was, uh, what's the Albert Einstein on your book, Yeah, that's. Right? Something like that. Imagination is more important than knowledge. Yeah, there you go. It's not better. It's more important. It's more it important. It's better. Which, <laughs> <laughs> it's just, yeah. it's just better. I'm just kidding. Knowledge. It's okay. We still love you. <laughs> I know knowledge is over in the corner crying with the dunce, dunce cap on because it feels bad for itself. Yeah, that's a horrible thing. Um, but yeah, I, uh, my yeah, the the education is great. You know, to have it, the, the equal opportunity, right? not equal outcome, equal opportunity, as we, we keep talking about, to be able to have that, but also still get that, I mean. Even, and, and here's the thing, and this is this is where the, um, the 80-20, the Pareto principle right. comes into play again, too. It's like, just because you can create a perfect system that all these things can be provided for free. It's like you can have, like, you can go to basically a public library you're talking about and be able to access the internet, be able to figure out how to plant crops better. Look, you could look up whatever you want to try and figure out how do I fix my most current issues right now. Right, yeah, which um, technically means, yeah, equal opportunity. Everybody can just do this, in a sense. Right. Um, being able to provide equal opportunity, but, the you know... The question is, how many people are going to just, you know, you you can lead a horse to water, but well, yeah, and that, so that, that I think that was going to be like my bigger point uh, to agree with you on that is, yeah, I mean, you can you can provide all that doesn't doesn't mean you're going to does that mean only twenty percent actually picks up and and makes a, a a benefit for their own lives and those around them by doing like. Well, there's probably a few ways to look at it, but my, but yeah, my thing was so much with the kids is teaching them to want to make sure that they're doing better for themselves and those around them. So, not the, not, and to me, that's not the knowledge; that's imagination. So, if you truly love and support them, you know that's going to develop that growth in that that support system. I mean, what was I think we talked about before? Um, I I, uh, I referenced Killer Mike um, with his. Um, is a trigger oh god what is it trigger point trigger finger i forget what so he had he had a i think six episode special on netflix that he did and he's telling a story in one of them about i think like one of his uh his uncles or his great uncle or you know gra- grandfather or somebody and there's they're basically having a debate as to why most of the kids who grow up in you know poor neighborhoods like you know ghettos and projects and stuff like that how they just like when they they can they just up and move and you know it's because it's like oh you know uh america glorifies this and that and makes it want to be something for their reaching for you know they want to be a part of like the white neighborhoods or like you know that kind of stuff and his his uncle just straight he, you know he looks at him he's just like no no he's like we as your elders did not do a decent enough job creating a home that you love well enough to want to come back to it to make it better i think that's that bigger point I don't give a, the, the idea of education in that sense, you know, having the uh, the free internet, having the free energy, having the conduits, all that access, that equal opportunity. You can't force it. As well as yeah, if you if you put it out there, it's up to somebody else to take faculty of it, right? Sure. But yeah. That's why I think my bigger point is is not so much have the education, but to really support it. To make it that societal programming or conditioning where it's a positive reinforcement that this is a good thing to do. To be imaginative, not knowledgeable, right? To not, not like, like that say, imagination is, you know, more important. That's still knowledge. That's still expression. You know, and that's what knowledge is. It's, and it's an expression that's calculated or quantized. So it, doesn't mean, it doesn't mean it's true. It's still imagination. It's just imagination with math. So imagination is still that important thing, and I think if we if we support our kids in that fashion and so teach them to want to build and make better for themselves, and then those and those you know beyond them, then hopefully they'll want to keep building their communities, and they'll all want to stay, and we'll make them bigger and better and more loving. 
I mean, that, that's my point of like educating our youngers and taking the generations and really trying to do it. Like that, I think that's my extension to the end all be all. Yeah, and then ed, that education would be your your basically your stepping stone to getting to that place that you're looking for. That um, idea where um, you know communities can work with each other to try and figure out solutions and. You know that it's a a growing molding of humanity and ecosystem, and well, I think, in, again, uh, to go to, to to go to your question, uh, which is why I answered uh, education. What is that one thing? And because in order for us to do that on a, uh, a worldwide basis, there'd be have to you know there'd have to be a few infrastructure components. There'd have to be some you know, uh, resources and faculties at, you know, equal opportunity, free availability in a sense. But we would also have to have the platform to make sure that we reinforce the purpose behind it to give it that positivity, to give it that strength. Uh, that That's, I, I don't think we in our generation are really going to be able to do that. I, I hope that at least the generation below us or the one below them, uh, we can reach them well enough that we can get it to keep growing. But I imagine a lot of that, um, to some extent, would have to rely a, a good deal on a volunteer structure of some sort for people to step in and be willing to to kind of help with a community getting getting things started. Like, so I'm thinking part of this part of this uh, education thing. So you're saying not just third world countries, but like Detroit, for example. You well, everywhere, anywhere, yeah, all where. But hallware, um, underwear. <laughs> um, but yeah. you know, to go in a community like small communities like that and show them, hey, you know, there's no reason why you can't, you know, use this this area of property you have that's basically community area to plant crops or to to create something that the elderly can use or the children can play on or you know whatever it is. And that that is part of the education. That it's a very hands-on thing. That you you know, as as well, a teenager I, or an adolescent, you could learn how to pour concrete to make footers for right. a playground structure. Like you could actually do the work, which is a lot of the money that a lot of times people can't afford. You know, so you can come in and you can show it. Like, hey, we're going to teach you how to do this. We're going to. Well, it would have to be from like be, local but resources. But because it's an infrastructure, we can afford the depending. parts you know, the materials, but we can't afford the, so you guys have to bring the muscle. So like you teach them how to structure, like you, you create some, okay, whoever has the most intelligence when it comes to this type of stuff, like you're going to be the foreman, you're going to drive the team, you're going to decide who does what you're going to. And I would take it back to the same idea of you have to make that just available. It would be up to them to because well uh, yeah obviously be because, on, just because you think it's the better idea just because you think it's the most efficient they may have a belief system that says hey we're just in a cycle where for the next twenty to thirty years this is just how it's going to be and we're going to why should I bother doing anything if I yeah, can just sit back my and generation relax. is it's it's my generation's responsibility well, to handle it in this fashion we're going to have to see a lot of that I'm sure in our lifetimes because well, that's you know. Well, but on yeah, on 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 a, on a multiple level with that, yeah, because I mean, you could do that on metaphorically for for different purposes. Well, I mean, that's sense. kind of what's going on now is that you know, yeah, to some degree in some places, absolutely, yeah, I agree. But you know, and that's and that's why, again, I pushing that idea, the the truer sense of what we're educating would be to bring a sense of accountability for purpose to know that the, the reason behind doing these things is not even just for you, that it's bigger than you, that it's for, you know, your, your kids and there's kids and their kids and their kids and all the community kids of all the other kids do like for you know, generations to come to set that example. Always, you know, put, put others first before yourself. Well, and not to not to build things for expedience, but for purpose. Yeah, do do what's right, not do what's, what's right, and not what's yeah, what's easy, what's convenient, or what's easy. Right. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. Um, and I'll always stand behind that. But yeah, it takes it takes pouring a little of, of yourself into it. I think it takes pouring all of yourself into it. 
Get, yeah. do, go big or go home. Yeah, yeah. Either, either <laughs> give all of your that way. Yeah. Either, either give all of your heart into making sure that you pay it forward to the next generation so that they in turn learn that they need to do it for the next and then hopefully at some point we get that well, exponential. I mean, I think of that kind of like as an artistic expression, like I can't I can't create something that's going to grab you if I don't put something of myself into it. If there's not a little bit of pain, a little bit of loss, a little bit of you know, if I'm not putting something of myself into that, so it's not like I'm not saying all of you has to go into it, but just the the idea that you know there's there's something of me that I gave up. There's in order to to allow this greater thing than me to exist. Yeah, what is uh, what's Spock saying? There there is no I. Or me, only the we, or I, I butcher everything. <laughs> but we need a fact checker. It'll be another thing we'll have to look up later. Dude, now somebody else is going to do it for us. They're going to put it in the comments. Thank you. We appreciate you. Uh, but yeah, but that's but that's you know, the the three musketeers. You know, all for one. You know, one for all. You, you it's if you only think of yourself, you know, e- uh, ego centered. I think is what it comes to at that point because if you're only thinking of yourself then you're egocentric um right centered on oneself yeah yeah and it's only going to be from your perspective you're only going to have issues that you feel are the issues and they need to be resolved your way which is it's never the thing it's always a multitude, and I think this is the 80-20, you know, it's 80% being the general populace is very, is it's very much the, uh, takes 20%, like what you were saying, where 20% uh, of the outputs actually affects like 80% of everything. Right, well... Right, so that's and that that's 80, why eighty percent of your producible output is from twenty percent of the input. It was some, yeah, I mean, yeah. There, and there's, and that's that thing is so it if, can be worded different ways. Too. Well, but and the, yeah, I know that's what I'm saying. Like all the it's there's all these ways, but it's yeah. If we can really just make sure that we're taking care of that little bit. Those are the ones that have the greater effect, and we need to be aware of that. So I think you know, I think having the patience and understanding with that is is a good thing as well. That's why I mean, me personally, if we're if we're doing that to take care of the kids, then then what are we doing for ourselves in that sense? We have we have to already be at this place of peace and capability if we're able to do that. Well, that's why two years ago I started this. Fo- it's the and you know I've even gotten criticized for it at times from certain people that. You know, why is so much of this focus on you? And it's like, well, I can't come correct until I get, until I figure out what's, what's going on with me. So it's not like, it's not a self-centered focus on yourself. It's a, how do I come correct to bring the better version of myself to reality for everyone else's sake, for everyone that I can touch, everyone in my family, every one of my friends, um, people that don't know me out there, you know, how... You have to set that example, and that's what that and that's my bigger point of like you you can't force them, so what you have to do is give them equal opportunity and then back it up by setting that example. That's why I was like you got to give a hundred percent because it's only going to be that twenty percent of the entire population that's doing it, but by doing it well and continuously setting that example, eventually it could be eighty percent of the population. And then the twenty percent is the ones that are like, "Nah, you should be lazy, not do shit, not give an f, and blah blah blah." And no, that's that's incorrect. That's the that's the alternate way. Not to say incorrect. That's the alternate way. But I feel that this would be a more. I think that goes against the law of attraction. <clears throat> I think that's why, I like, I'm I'm sitting over here like smirking, but yeah, it well, just you, in you, general, like when you when you put when you put a, a sense of respect and dignity out into the world, you know whether it's reflecting yourself or something you stand for, people are going to see that. People are going to react to it. People are going to respond to it in kind. You know, 
if you put if you put something out there and you don't give it that kind of polish people are going to notice and it's the same thing like you said with your kids it's like well you can say something but if you don't if your actions don't stand behind that like you can say you know honesty and all this other stuff and try to talk about virtue and then they see you pick up a wallet on the on the street and not turn it into the police like they they see these things like so you have to live it you can't just you got you got to walk the walk you can't talk the talk and it's yeah, it's actually even more important than what you say is what you do because kids pick up on the reality of things quicker because they because they're questioning everything right well, they're questioning the boundaries of why is it that dad told me that this is something that you shouldn't do or well, I th- should I think, do. I think words is, uh, is another way to talk about the 80-20 because at this point it's uh, when when you speak your words, you know, like 20% of what you're saying is actually true or 80% of it is actually told in your, your body language. It's probably closer to like 1090 maybe. Oh, like, there is. Yeah, I forget what that was. Yeah, uh, you, you say more with your body than you do your words. That was a, yeah, uh, we'll have to get back to that another time, but that was, that was di- a direct quote out of a book that I was reading recently. Oh, what's that? Um, that was the one I, I, I have to look it up. The, um. Oh, geez. Fact checker. I, ha- I have you the ha- book, You have but... all these books over here. He's, dude, he's got a pile of books. This is, this is actually, amazing. Actually, only two of them were ones that aren't actually my books, because those are my two <laughs> diaries, and then, and then the journal for the show. I, I, and, then, I'm, and then yeah I, I know you're busting my child I know I kid I kid <laughs> uh, <clears throat> anyway um, well and yeah I, I think I think that's why to me um, it, it, giving a hundred percent setting that example that's that's the only way to do it um, you know, I, I, I I agree it's a and that's why I go back to you know as you as you wish to step up, transcend, be that better person. You know it, it don't get easier, you don't get less work. You got to do more. Yeah, no, I see what you're saying about so, that. But and that's the thing. So generation to generation, you, you basically got to tell them that too. It's like, hey, going into it, here's the here's the deal. You're gonna have to do more work than I did. Uh, sorry about that, but that's and that's why you know you you'll get like 20 percent that'll actually be like yeah i'm down let's do this because there's purpose behind it that's why you know at some point you get that exponential and that's how you build up to like that 80 and then it it flip-flops but well and and that that becomes the norm that's kind of the other thing i i'd like to figure out a better way to express to my children too is that that there is a certain thing about virtue that carries over you know across cultures across you know all different types of people People can see that, and people respond to it in kind. That's another one of those things that, you know, well, you, you don't, like you're saying... That goes to the you, programming. When you when you have a focus, it doesn't mean things get easier. It, it means things are actually going to get harder. But in the same sense, you're going to find you have friends in the most unlikely places. Well, yeah, what, whether it's you think of it, you have the right... Uh, faculties or resources or so yeah, somehow or another it just things but because of themselves. being because of being virtuous it's almost like that that um it goes before you because it's greater than you because you've dedicated yourself to something that's greater than yourself and when other people recognize that they will act in kind you know they will pay it forward they will try to do for you if they see that you're in a place of need so all i'm saying is that more work might actually not turn out to feel like more work because it's just adding to that passion. Yeah. So anyway. Yeah. That's the thing though, is to get the younger generations to want to keep going and make it better and better and better. It's going to be more work and it's going to be more. Now, eventually once it, yeah, once you get to that point where it's like the 80, 20, well now it's, it's like easy peasy. You know, you spend twenty percent of your time doing eighty percent of your work, and that's you know that's how you you know. That's, <laughs> yeah, I love doing that. Yeah. Well, but that that's that's a way to look at it. It's like when you when you're only spending twenty percent of your time, and it makes eighty percent of your income. <clears throat> right. If you want to put a financial point, same deal. Like that's 
the kind of value system that you're looking. You what was the to. whole like work smarter? Yeah, not harder. Scrooge right. McDuck. <laughs> I love that guy. Work smarter, not harder. Yeah. <laughs> It's a good duck right there, <clears throat> but yeah. So, but that's the thing is, that, you know, now you're trying to talk talk the the generations into that, and so you get to a certain point where you know, you know. So that's why it's going to be kind of an, an uphill battle talking to these kids and really trying to that. That's why it's you can't just say because you actually have to express the because you have to give them well, but the purpose, like- the reason. You, you have you have to be transparent. Support Supporting, you know, open. You have to trust. But kind of like you were saying about picking on your kid to get him prepared for reality, you know. Well, yeah, same you, as you and you, I, right? If you set the bar high, if you if you put forward, you know, the the virtues and the honesty and the the intelligence, the wisdom, the knowledge, and the, and the love for seeking that type of stuff, don't you think through osmosis in some way that that's actually going to catch on and but That's through, the hope. Through your actions, yeah. that you, you it's would, my belief. It's you my would, belief system. You would hope, hey, you know, that maybe this little person looks up to you and wants to be more like you and wants to follow in your footsteps. And as far as I'm aware, she does. She seek the same tells things me all that the time. you seek. It's awesome. Which I, I it cracks me up the irony because I look up to her so much that I tell her all the time that while she's telling me that I'm this, that, and the other, and she appreciates me, I'm like, yo, I look up to you and thinking the same thing. I'm, I'm the better person because you're in my life and you support me in doing what I'm doing. And, you know, so it's just this, it's this reciprocal component where it's just, it just perpetuates this beautiful love cycle where we just support each other for being ourselves and just expressing ourselves. And like that, that's dope. So, Isn't that funny? I mean, if there, there comes a point where it's like, who's raising who? You kind know. of, <laughs> but you know, it's, but it's more of, it, it's more of we're setting examples. Yeah. And as we give each other these better examples, we strive for better ourselves because we're looking to the other to impress each other. It, it becomes camaraderie. But you kind of watch yourself, though. Well, but it becomes, it becomes camaraderie, not competition. Because when you start dropping knowledge, they'll be the first ones to call it. But you didn't do that. And they're like, oh, you got me. <laughs> you know, well, but, and they won't that's hesitate where, to call you out on it. That's where you come correct. Speak impeccably, right. express yourself, and admit, hey, that was the time and the construct in which I was dealing with, and that was my bias. And this is, if you're honest, if you're if you're going to be dealt with them, well, and 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 nobody's perfect. The, the effort has to be there, though. The focus has to be there in some to some extent. Like, well, yeah, and that's my thing of like, how do you you know how do you want. Giving the free education, like having that available, is great. But how do you lead the horse to the water and hope they drink it? You can't. Yeah. Well, and that's why I was like, you can't. You can't force it. But that's why it's like I think you really just you have to set that example. And that, I mean, that's what I did. I would do. I did my scholastic. So it's better you have to make them think they thought of it first. <laughs> reverse psychology. Yeah. Uh, my scholastic journey started in my my early 30s and at this point you know my my younger is doing homework because she's in elementary school and i would offset my schedule so that when when we both went home we would do our homework together Mm -hmm. i set that example because i wanted to show her like even big people you know even the olders we do homework too you never stop learning. You never stop educating yourself. You never stop striving to be better because you always want to set that example of just being good and not because you think it's going to get you something. Being good because it's the right thing to do. Because being good in the long means that no matter how much good there is, there's always still going to be good out there. Well, and 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 doing, doing a deed because it... It feels right to you. Like you don't, I mean, and and in a way, like if if you're lined up properly, it should almost feel like a selfish act. Because it shouldn't feel like you know. If you rescue your hand from a fire, your hand doesn't thank you. How do you know? Maybe it does. 
<laughs> you, this, back, this goes back to the tree hugging experiment. Do you have, do you listen to the trees? Do you listen to your hand? Do you listen to your? But you know what I'm saying. I, right. <laughs> I know I'm being facetious. Um. Anyhow, yeah. It's a thankless job, is what you're saying. I get that. It's it's. Well, no, but the, you don't. You're just doing it because you know it's right. You don't. Because you don't it's need the best the outcome. Yeah. Yeah. You don't need the thanks. It's it's the enjoyment of of the act itself that that gets you going like it's it's the ability like the fact that you looked around and you went hey i have the ability to help this person out in this particular scenario why shouldn't i and when all is said and done it ends up making you feel better in the long run you know that could almost set your whole day off in the right angle well and so there, and yeah, I'd, it'd be uh, unfortunate if it was the end of your day because there wouldn't be much. So, so there's a, there's a there's a discussion. I'm not I'm not quite sure all the uh, the components to it, but there there there's a discussion there about um, positive conditioning, meaning uh, positive reinforcement for incentive base of making yourself feel better by helping others. So it's still a egocentric component. If it's all lined up right, it, it 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 can almost still be a selfish act, yeah. Well, and but that's the thing is but that if, they, if you're in the state of oneness, it's there is no such thing as as altruism, and there's no such thing as selfishness. It's literally all again. There's you could have all these conversations. It's a weird <laughs> philosophy. You could be philosophical, it's almost like a circular reasoning, or I don't no no not quite. But well, and that and that's so to me that comes back to. Um, doing what's right just because it's right because yeah, it feels right and has to resonate with you because what's right for me what feels right for me is not going to feel right for you yeah, maybe it does but not on everything like there are you say you know, we're different you know I, I say we agree on a lot of things but we differ in semantics but that's still a component that we differ on so you know but we we have to accept that that's just we're always going to have that. Who cares? Let's get past that and just do our thing. No, I'm good with it. Yeah. I'm totally good with it. But, and that's, you know, it, to, it just, that really goes right back to the whole, just set that example. Well, if you think about it, like it, the context of, of an outsider listening to the conversation, they're now getting two different, two different solutions to the same. Okay. Well, I put it this way and you disagree and you put it that way you're getting more of a more of an understanding across a wider base of personality type or whatever you want to call it you know yeah that's why I like having doing classes in class that's what you were saying before yeah because, because you you're get getting multiple perspectives you're getting bill or sally's response yeah, it's not to, just the teacher yeah now you have these other people of different classes ages they were the same know. material and this is their take on it correct yeah yeah which I think it goes back to the imagination is more important than knowledge. The fact that you're going to see it differently to me could be expressed as, you know, imagination because that's how you, how you, you imagine it. How you synthesize yeah. the knowledge that you've gained, say. And to me, that, and I can, I can, I can uh, learn stuff, you know. <laughs> I'm, I'm educated. <laughs> I'm educated. I can conjugate and such. Well, yeah, no, so when I would do my homework, I would always make sure I was kind of teaching the kid that. And now with the way the world is, um, doing doing at-home school, self-guided in a mm -hmm. sense, it's it's basically a college online course. It's such a shit show. Well, it, because <laughs> I, I, I've always explained it to her and helped her to uh, educate herself in how she learns, she's now in a place where she gets to do this and she's educating herself quite well and doing quite well. I mean, she gets she gets solid average grades that she was doing before. So her, her grades haven't changed, but I feel that her self-worth and level of um, uh, benefit that she receives from the education now is a little bit more solid because it's, it's on her platform. And it's because I, I expressed to her, it's like, hey, it's not what the knowledge is. It's what you do with it, and that's where the synthesis is. It's say, you know, hey, this is this is what I want you to read. What does this say to you? Give me give me an intelligent expression. Tell me, and you know, imagination is more important than knowledge. 
the knowledge is great. Having that ability to express it, that art, that outco- that output, you know, you being able to express, that's the important thing. Synthesis. Yeah, man. Oh, crazy shit, though. Oh. Yeah. She's a junior. Gonna be a senior next year. Yeah. This that year. Makes a, that makes a big difference. Like... Taking AP classes and such. My issue's Still been, doing well. Oh, it's good. It's my good. issue's been with this whole process is that, you know, my younger one started this like closer to five years old. So being being in an online environment when that's just, it's not, she needs to be, she needs to be toe-to-toe with other kids her age. She needs to be reacting and playing socializing. with them, socializing. That's so important right now. And for this to happen, not only that aspect of it, that she's losing out on all that socialization when honestly the numbers, the numbers don't show any children as being in a, in a danger zone with any of these issues, no matter. How, and, and this is with as, as far yeah. as you can imagine, they've blown out these numbers that the kids are just not affected. Yeah, and that, that's in and of itself unimportant. I think, regardless of that, how important is that versus what you're losing? Yeah, the, yeah, I think what you're about, potentially losing. Yeah, on Jordan the other Peterson side. was talking about the Spanish flu. I was watching an interview with him on that, and and the way the numbers were, it's nothing like. And and his simply the economy did not shut down, but because it couldn't, it had to continue because it was still built on a system almost of like bartering in a sense. Because you still had people that had, you know, their own small farms and things and, you know, self-sustaining uh, families, uh, businesses. The idea that shutting anything down was a better solution than just letting a few people die was a really terrible idea. That's your opinion. And there's many others that share it and many others that don't. Yeah. Um, and that's the beauty of it. Everybody's, everybody's uh, free to their opinion. And that goes to how we appropriately educate we have to support we have to express because we're supposed to have these differentiations otherwise we're not going to have an ability to find balance we have to know what it's not to know what it is so many can be upset and say hey yeah they screwed up they really did this that well you know what what would you do if you were in that in those shoes when you have everybody yelling you at you. You can't please everybody. And it is, it's, when everybody's yelling at you, barking down your neck, you got to do what's best for this, that, and the other. Coming from the bottom, coming from the top. And everybody's got to make the group thing sets in and all these other things. We want to sit here and point fingers and blame. Well, and a lot, I think we, a lot no, of people we don't want realize to, that a president is not, that's not the end all be all. He's got a million and one people telling him what to do. We want to sit here and point fingers of blame at everybody else, but not ourselves. And that is the bigger issue. Get back around. Yeah. Well, but this comes again, setting that example for our children in hopes that they will want to do better for themselves and their their children and their children's children. To set an example and knowing that you're going to have to set a bigger example generation after generation to be bigger and better every time. But you still do it because you know it's right. That's going to be the bigger trick. And that one, I think, is worth putting 100% of everything you got into. Hmm. Yeah, to imagine that you could be in the worst possible place, physically, emotionally, financially, and to turn around and be able to question, what is it that I did to put me here? Instead of looking around trying to find a scapegoat, like, what did I do? Or what can I do to get myself out of this? Instead, an even better question, you know, to constantly focus on. (laughs) Well, and see, and that's why my big thing on all that would be to, to, to be at that place to set that example, right? You would have to be that person so not even sit there and thinking to yourself you know how am i going to get out of this what did i learn from it being beyond that and already you know fake it till you make it already be embodying that component where it's like this is what i'm supposed to be doing and just do that and keep moving forward yeah you're going to make mistakes yeah you're going to fall on your face yeah you're going to you know 
And you were saying, you, you, but it's worth it. You well, have at to some do point, it. you just have to make a move. You have to do something. Always. You know, doing nothing is, you know. So there are, there will be times, yeah. There will be times where, as a father, as uh, a friend, as a lover, as whatever, you'll make the wrong decision. It happens. But it's, it's how you move forward from that, and it's how you deal with that, 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 you know, that proves you've learned some lessons along the way. Consistency, you know? because of us as humans, have a psychology of, of the basic this programming, conditioning. It's another way to put it. When we set an example over and over and over and over and over and over again, eventually everyone's perception as they see us doing this again and again and again and again eventually their brain just recognizes oh this person does this so if we are consistent with who we are all those around us will perceive us in that same manner as you know, relative as we do because that's what we're you know we're aiming for most likely that's our transcendent building towards our karma fulfilling our purpose you know if we if we are supposed to be that ultimate person who's a good speaker or a appropriate counsel person or sports individual or whatever your purpose is when you fulfill when you're in that flow it just it just becomes like well i was going to say you know what it is to be to be connected socially to those around you to some extent you mirror what other people i've caught myself doing it with accents before like stuff like that you tend to to mirror um, you know, figures of speech, um, emotional patterns. Yeah, I believe that's a genetic thing. I, it's you, just, it's just. I think it's just part of being a social animal. Well, you, but yeah, because um, you have to, you have to get along to go. You have to go along to get along in order to eat. Well, and that's 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 part of that whole reason why the the um, group think control aspect why that works when people find what the triggers are yeah, it's and genetic, they're able to right no but i'm saying the people that are actually trying to pull the strings on that oh you know, to that, manipulate the situations right that, of course that, oh, dude, that happens all the time you know they're, dude, they're, I they're reading it's, the situation they're trying to not like in everything in life but you know sorry. yeah sorry go ahead no no it's that, that's pretty much it um Yeah, I don't know what else. Well, I think that would be well. I mean, you know, in context, because you're bringing up the whole group thing. I think with what you were looking at, those uh, the two different components. Now, trying to put it in that construct of what you know what I'm discussing as education and how we would do it to properly like really support you know our youngers and all that. You know, I think that's a. Uh, that's a cool. That's a, that might be a nice way to approach the groupthink idea. Well, I mean, how 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 could we use that for good? Well, that's, that's, I was just how could say, we flip the script? What is there and is there a way to do that acceptably? But you're what you're talking about is 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 nigh on to hypnotism, sort of speak. It's it's like setting an example, the, setting an example, which as we have defined will basically give consistency for programming. And if you have the appropriate amount of people doing that, then that becomes the... So it doesn't have to be the reverse where it's like they proved, hey, the answers were wrong and we got you to think it. The answers could be right and we finally get you to think it. It's just by setting an example. How is that, how is that bad? No, I'm. I'm thinking we gotta start off. We gotta start off small and find some from some little silly thing. Like anybody who listens to this show has to stop at a certain time of day and do something silly. You know, something we just make something specific up that you have to see. But now you're using it for evil. I'm talking about being good. No, 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 no. Not evil. Not evil in the least. It just is. Well, no, because no, now you're asking. No, because you're you're asking for. Instead of expecting and just being like, hey, no, I'm just going to set this example. I hope you all fulfill in the same kind of purpose. Oh, sure. I'll do the same now thing. Now you're like, to me, it's almost like conditional. I'll be like, hey, I want you to prove to I'll me. I'll do the same thing. Just, it sounds like a test. Just be I'm going to be honest. Like, I'll do something silly at, you know, at 420 every day, whatever. Um, 
Well, but not to say that yet. Yeah, not to say that we couldn't have a uh, a thing or a shtick or something for cool, funny, ha-has, but yeah, no. The, I'm I'm say I would have to disagree with that statement. It sounded <laughs> it sounded conditional and it sounded like a test. It sounded controlling. If yeah. you really love me, you'll go to the corner of third no. and, sit and cluck <laughs> like a chicken. All right, no, no, we're not. That's not. It was very happen. specific. Hey, I'm just saying it might have happened to somebody. Oh, it was worth a try. <laughs> I'm not against <laughs> some shtick at some point, but the way you expressed it goes against how I feel because there should so never like, be a test. Like mind control. Yeah. It was so that if we're going to use group think for good, it should be because it's like, hey, we feel that this is the you know, best way. There's nothing not wrong that with being silly. At a, at a, just there's everything a wrong with random, being silly. A random time during the day. We, we could just pick a, you know, one eleven. I would, but let me ask you this: Hmm. What does that do for the benefit? How is that? How do you think that justifies the means? What's the benefit of that? Yeah. What What do you think the outcome is going to be of that? To the person clucking like a chicken. Well, I mean, if that's what they're doing to be silly, I don't know. I mean, it's it's you look. You still have free will. I'm not making you do (laughs) nothing. Well, but so but that's my so my my thing is always. Like I'm, I'm or maybe old. it's just what you need to step out of yourself for a minute. Maybe, maybe at one eleven, it's like the perfect time of day for you because you know you've had lunch. Maybe you're starting to dip a little bit, and you know it's like, oh, you know what's one eleven? I got to get up and I got to do three circles around my couch, clucking like a chicken. And maybe it's just that release that you need. Who knows? It's not like you don't have to do it because I said so. You can just do it because it's just silly. I, who knows? So let's see if we can start a trend. I wasn't trying to be controlling or you know like my, evil in any way. It was just, my thing. And you said cluck like a chicken. I didn't necessarily say anything specific. I mean, chickens are dumb. They lay eggs. They're tasty. I mean, what if it was you know you had to recite the Gettysburg Address? I mean, that could be educational in a way, you know. And I have to learn the Gettysburg. That's very specific. <laughs> It was very specific, too. That was, that was very just, specific. No, I'm just... While hopping on one foot, you know. Um, <clears throat> yeah. At, at 111. Well, and so I'm, I'm, a, I'm a huge, I'm a huge uh, advocate for the idea of always doing things that benefit or push towards the purpose, right? Like, well, otherwise you're kind of wasting the energy in a sense. Yeah. So that was... And that's what I love your expression on that because to me that so if that's really the <laughs> just I, to be a goof just to yeah so yeah uh-huh. so the the way you had stated it before I'm just like Mm-mm, not on board with this the way you re put it which is pretty much still the same way it's just you know well, so it was just it. maybe it was the way you took it I don't know maybe it was I didn't express it the right way it but. was both it was both well it was I, just I, like as a way to test things out like hey you know. It's not like a flash mob. We don't have to do anything crazy. It's just, you why know. Not? Why, why can't it be a flash mob? Now, now I think you're, like, using reverse so psychology. Like, how many people out there might be working at their desk at home, you know, and one eleven is that time of day where it's just like, oh, They want man, a flash gotta, mob in the kitchen? You know, why not? Three hours, three and a half hours of work left or whatever it is. You know, oh, man. Oh, wait. It's one eleven. I got to cluck like a chicken. Maybe it's that, it's that perfect release they need at that time that, okay, I can go back to work now. Now so, I can be serious in my meeting. and As you were saying all of that, I'm like, the inner child of me is just like giggling. Like, yes, yes, keep going, keep going. Yeah, I agree. Because maybe it is that thing. Same thing with I'm I, telling you. Maybe it's the fact that I just said clucking like a chicken. You're like, clucking like a chicken. That was very like specific. I'm not, I know. Maybe that's the thing that sparks that person's imagination. I'm not, that I'm not trying to program anybody. I'm just, I'm just saying it would just be neat to test it out to see if we could get, you know... Like See, I said, I'll, I'd be willing to do it too. Whatever you know, if we pick something oddball. Well, but now here's the thing: if you did that every day at one eleven, I mean, well, you know, it would well, do something well, everybody could do. Well, but if you did that every day at one eleven, again, and again, and again, you would be programming people because then they would be conditioned to the idea of like, you know, you know Gemini's always going to be one eleven. He's just going to do his thing. I'm going to come do it with him too, and it's like, why wouldn't you? 
just that's for that, that example. Oh, that's a great point. Just for just for the pure fact that you know at least one other person is doing that same stupid thing. And now it all becomes that like a viral thing where it like shuts down Facebook because everybody at one eleven's trying to put up their own live video of just be like, I'm gonna be silly, just like Gemini. Ooh yeah. And everybody was you got like skateboarders, you got like Yeah, right, dude. You got like security guards, bank tellers, doctors, you know, it doesn't matter. Everybody's doing it, you know? <laughs> telling you but maybe that's the thing we don't know uh, really like you have to do like the happy birthday song in cluck like <laughs> <laughs> like just something silly just and dancing around you know now jump, you, you seem to be stuck on this chicken jumping thing. on your couch well you brought up the chicken thing but I just kind of went with it well, then, I, then I ate his leg <laughs> <laughs> but up, uh, here we go with the Beastie Boys. Earl, I was never. In. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, never but, even in aisle four. And and so I mean, it's, and I feel as though everything really kind of seems to come just like wrapping right back around to that whole like set an example. You know, that's <clears> why <throat> I think I think it's great that you know we start out with the idea of education that how we're going to take care of our youngers and all that, and we just we keep just coming right back around example, example, example. Well, because I don't know. I feel. I mean, I'm I'm not the education type necessarily, but well, you, like, I can like set true an example. collegiate I, scholi- scholastic yeah. style. Yeah, like not going to like physical classes because you're 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 very educated. Like you really are. There's plenty of times. But just being educated doesn't mean you know how to educate. Well, but just because you know how to learn doesn't mean you know how to teach. Just because you teach don't mean you know how to learn. I mean, actually, I think that probably does. That might work both. I don't know. I'll have to do the math on that later. But yeah, you can't have one without the other. Typically, those who can't teach, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> teach gym class. Am I right? No, sorry. Uh, or teach phys ed. I'm sorry, I probably yeah. butchered that. Uh, I butcher all the quotes. I'm a horrible person. Uguay hates me. What was that? Uh, Jack, Jack Black. Black. He hates me. Yeah. Yeah. School of Rock. Spoiler alert. I did it. Oh, awesome. Movie. Oh, awesome movie. yeah. Movie. That person was totally writing in the comments. Now they're going to troll us. <laughs> like, you ruined it. Yeah, my bad, bro. My bad. Uh, <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I think I think you haven't really, seen it at this point. That's just you, know, you should go do it. Cooey on um, you. But yeah, we keep coming. Uh, the example, man, and I, Ooh. I think that's that's to me has always been a thing. Is you know, it, like it went back to when I did you know I did my homework in front of her. You're always going to educate. You're always going to have to learn. You're always going to try to have to be better. You know, it's you're you're not going to have less work to do as you get better at what you're doing. Well. <laughs> And even when you slip, that could be a learning moment, too. Well, it's especially if you slip, you know, if you're being smart about like, it. Like, oh, you totally caught me. Well, yeah, dude, because when you, when you scribe your face on the asphalt, you only want to do that once. Trust me. <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> once is enough. I don't, yeah. Asphalt face. No, nah, we good. Not the best of friends. Once is enough. Well, it's not. It's bad enough that I got to remember it. Now everybody else has to remember it, too. <laughs> That's why I try to tell people, like, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be dope with you. I'm gonna be dope with you. <laughs> yeah, asphalt and face. Don't do it. Don't even try it once. Not worth it. No. Concrete, neither. Not a joke. Be smart about this. It Tuck and roll. There's no give. There's no. Uh, oh, there's all give. It's your face. It's your face. <laughs> your face gives. It gives a lot. Blood, skin. Oh, it's oh, so giving. It's some hair, depending on where it's at. Oh, dude, no. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Oh. That would be dope with you. Don't do it. Yeah. I, the PSA. Yeah. Chef Philly D. I, 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 cur- I curbed myself once. I was like, was I 13 or 14 years you old? You curbed yourself? Did you have to get your jaw redone? I don't. No, not on my jaw. It was like the side of my head. It was like right this whole spot. Oh, you spot, clocked right? the curb. Okay. Oh, I clocked the curb bad. I'm sorry. I, just, I had like American History X. I'm like, yo, that's, that's a whole other thing. My, Never mind. So you had a battle with the curb and the curb won? Yeah, I was I was I was carrying my backpack in an inappropriate manner. <laughs> please please define in a in a in Well a let's just say I was carrying my backpack in a manner inappropriate enough to get it caught in my front tire, which caused the whole thing to jackknife and my head ended up becoming one with the curb. Do I instantly had you carrying your backpack like a baby Bjorn? 
And it's just <laughs> dangling down, and the straps get like sucked in cartoon style. Just <laughs> and you just like flip over seventeen times. So um, like cartoon stars and bird tweeting and yeah, everything. And that was that was fun because is that, I, is that I, what I, happened? I, I hit my head really bad on the curb. Again, I came home right. There's a lot of give. It's I your was face right around the corner. I came because I always do the worst of my stuff. I always happens right around the corner from my house, or, like or right on, in front of it, or right in front of it. And, one, so I, one house adjacent. I came back around, went back in, and went directly into the bathroom and looked in the mirror, and I couldn't see my face. <laughs> no, I'm serious. Like, I, it was just like a, like a peach colored blob. Well, I guess that's what happens when your your brain just slaps on the inside of your skull. <laughs> um. Yeah, we'll flabble. <laughs> yeah. <I'm sitting> <laughs> I spent the rest of the day very close and comfy with a small plastic trash can. Whoa. Yeah, that was not fun. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, mistakes can always be made. Yeah, okay. You all should have just learned from this. Concrete and or asphalt in face, no bueno. Curbs inside of head, no bueno Still also. concrete, still, I mean. Yeah, right, yeah. Yeah, same, same. Yeah, human body, concrete, or asphalt. Yeah, no bueno, Tommy. And no both bueno, are no, no yeah. bueno. Um, and that one was nothing by comparison to the big accident, but that was. Uh, well, that was also uh, skull and asphalt. Yeah. And again, asphalt one. Yeah, there's, there's like a recurring theme, it seems like. Apparently you like to you're you're not a type that hits walls. You like to hit ground. And I still remember this when I was like th- three. I want to say I was about three. And don't ask me how I leading up to this. What my memory of three is very foggy. <laughs> but after hitting your head as many times as you have, I think everything would be foggy. But the 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 kid. Let's say the kindergarten that I went to. Apparently they didn't watch us as you you were you were closely three in kindergarten. Or whatever, whatever daycare, whatever it was that I was in at three years old. I mean, dude, I know you're smart, but it didn't didn't watch us <laughs> didn't watch us that well. And well, I don't know how this three, ended up. Can't get very stop cutting me off. I don't know how this ended up happening, but we both ended up. They had these, um, yeah, they would never have these these days. But they had like those fifty five gallon drums for trash cans, <laughs> and somehow me and they they had one that was like there was nothing in it. It was cleaned out. And somehow me and this kid ended up in it, <laughs> and the thing fell over, and of course it fell over with him on top of me and my head hitting the the inside of the can and the pavement behind it. And uh, that was my, my first concussion. That was my first. And I kind of lost count at this point. <laughs> I'm going to be dope with you. <laughs> this explains so you much. You really shouldn't be no, here I'm right just... <laughs> just... Really? I'm playing. No, I, uh, you, um, yeah, no, maybe, maybe that's something we should, uh, we should all just hit our head a little bit more. That is not <laughs> at a disclaimer alert. We're going to fix that in editing. No, we will not. You, we, uh, I, I will take remember. It back. I take it back. I'm just being silly. Yeah, um, no, I, which uh, is dude, perfectly I legitimate do, I th- and allowed. Let's, I think that might but, be something we should look into for a, uh, a future, you know, green room or something. Or si- at least a side conversation, there's, like for real, dude. What if it seems reoccurring? There's got to be something in there. There's definitely a lot of brain issue with me. I think <laughs> it certainly seems to be a recurring theme. In all honesty, for as many times as I'm aware that you've cracked yourself to the level of intelligence and articulation that you have, is. At that point, how's like, it possible? Dude, you're like Godzilla of <laughs> intelligence right now. You know what I mean? Like you should be Rain Man, and instead you're just like you're about to be like Socrates in a sense. You know, what I mean? like it's a weird oh, comparison, but still. You. And no, oh, they're both very intelligent. I love those guys, <clears throat> and they both know how to have fun as far as so I'm crates. Aware. So crates is so great. <laughs> so is Rain Man. Oh, good times. What do we got here? I just because I'm starting to get sleepy. I don't know about you. That, that sounds like we need to take a break. That was a great start of education. But, uh... <laughs> well, cause, well, education came back around to the whole idea of example. Just making sure that you're saying well, that. Yeah, no, I, and I think 
that's good because I think that means we stayed on track the whole time because relative like I was saying earlier like I'm not an educator like but I can set an example I can but to me that is being an educator well yeah there but is that's a... what I was trying to say and what I actually said at the beginning so it is beautiful because it came around full circle again but what I was saying at the beginning was dropping the wisdom so it's like the little things that kind of like travel with you through your edu- education like those little pearls you know it's not the 30,000 pages of textbooks that you read it's one sentence a phrase a thing your teacher said that person in your class said a thing that you wrote in one of your papers sure there's all those little itty bitty tidbits that thing that you learned from the guy at the Dunkin Donuts that one time what I mean who knows whatever right you know, it's just. And it could have been a graffiti artist, a skateboarding kid. There's no way at times dude. to even figure out where that came from. You know, the ether. Just like we keep saying, there's no way for us to know what silly, stupid, or really serious thing that we mention in context that somebody goes on their own little tangent with. Yeah. And maybe, maybe that somebody has. A connection with something in their past that they've never let go of or you know comes to realize that maybe they're not entirely crazy because they have similar thoughts to what I do but you know what I wouldn't really use that as a litmus test just <laughs> off the bat <laughs> really... disclaimer not, not necessarily uh oh, but and yes that is funny but yeah that yeah. well at least you're not the only one let's just put it that way there is at least another <laughs> and uh yeah I, I know we jest but that's um because we we try to keep it light you know let's we we want to be serious we want to talk about all these crazy things and get all this <clears> stuff <throat> out but yeah we, we we still want to make sure at the end of the day we're laughing and smiling and enjoying each other that's important it is important and and yeah. all, all in all i think we we bring that pretty well that we certainly bring the funny, you know, at like, least for each other. I, I like I like how we can rem- remind each other, like, <clears throat> you know, whether we need to corral or whether we need, you know, it's fine to just let it, just let it fly, you know, let your hair down and do your thing. Just let your hair down and do. Your... Um, I hug trees. It's okay. Let no, it out. It's it's yeah. Um, but that that we keep each other. Balanced. Balanced and in line like that too because that's that's really it has nothing to do with staying on topic. It has to do with staying, you know Impeccable? Yeah, in a way. I mean Honest. Yeah. Dope. Dope. <laughs> Let me be dope with you. Wanna be dope with you. But uh it's been a very good show. It it was I oh, do I, I enjoyed it. Period. Oh, so what what's after eight is um, Number nine. Green Room 8? Oh, sorry. We should do something special for nine. Culmination. We should do something special for Tesla for nine. I mm. mean, we can bring it back around again. Mm. We can throw in some Tesla, some vibrations, some 369, some to, Beastie Boys references. Yeah, we'll have to look into that and see. I don't want to direct it too much, but yeah, maybe we should do something for nine. We'll see. Bring it in the Green Room, see what happens. We can just let it all hang out. Well, Green Room will be... Number eight. Number eight, so, yeah. Yeah, which is the precursor to episode nine, which will be coming up after. So, yeah. You can you can push the button in a little bit, get to episode eight of the Green Room, see what happens. Maybe we do, maybe we don't. Hey, Stay tuned. At, at this point, maybe it's already done. Who knows? Same bad channel, same bad time. <laughs> all right, Philly D. There, Gemini. <laughs>